What is the effective depth? In short, it's the distance between the component edge of the compression site and the centroid of the tension reinforcement. The exact position of the reinforcement is determined by the concrete cover. In one of our next videos, we will explain in detail how you can calculate it by the respective exposure class. The effective depth is directly related to the bending design of a component because it defines the internal lever arm and therefore also the acting tensile and compressive forces. Thus, the larger the internal lever arm, the smaller the values of the force couple. Let's look at a few examples. In the case of slabs, you have to pay attention to the directions of the reinforcements because one layer is always higher than the other. Thus, there are different effective depths in the x and y directions. In the case of beams, you have to pay attention to the stirrup reinforcement and if you have several layers of tension members, you have to adjust the center of gravity of the tension reinforcement. With the help of the add-on module RF Concrete Surfaces, you can enter the specifications of the reinforcement as desired and the software automatically considers the resulting effective depth during the design. We hope you enjoyed it, till next time.